Lucy, Justin, uh, thank you all for joining me today on Press Day. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Congrats on the the greatest hits. Uh, I watched it the other night. Uh, who doesn't love? First of all, who doesn't love a good time travel movie? <laughs> Amen. It's true. So, uh, you know, we have Harriet and David in, in the movie. Um, Lucy, first of all, what attracted you to the role of Harriet, and how did you prepare to play a character like this with the whole time travel music? Um, I, I, so much of it was the time travel element. I'm such a nostalgic person that I think I've kind of fantasized about this, like the what if you could go back, would you change anything? And I loved the way the, this film, I think, looked at it from a new stance and looked at these two beautiful love stories from a new angle that felt kind of still very gritty and grounded and so much through the lens of grief, um, which I thought was just deeply moving and I really understood Harriet's journey through grief and um, and yeah there was just there were so many elements all packaged into this one film that I felt would be really relatable because it definitely pulled me in so I was just really excited to dive right into the deep end with her. Mm. Justin how would you say uh, David's uh, David's role fits into Harriet's journey rediscovering like her uh, going back in time music also? Yeah, I think David uh, encounters Harriet in grief group because he's obviously grieving as well. His, yeah. He's lost his parents. And um, I think they share this sort of intimate, vulnerable connection through their shared grief. And through spending time together, it sort of blossoms into this beautiful relationship. And I think they both really need each other at this time to sort of not linger too too long in the past, but but see each other in the present. What do you what do you both hope when uh, the viewers tune in to watch this film? What are you hoping they get out of this? Uh, Lucy, we'll start with you. Um, I mean, I hope it just makes them feel a lot. It really like triggered a lot of emotions, and you know, you project your own experience onto films like this. So I hope it's a catalyst for thought. But I think ultimately, it's just a really beautiful piece of escapism. So I hope it just is a is that for ninety minutes. Mm -hmm. David. Uh, I would, I mean, <laughs> I echo Lucy's sentiments. I mean, I just want audience to have a good time, um, to get lost in the music, to get lost in this romance. Um, yeah, I, I, they, this, this film reminds me of films that I used to love to watch growing up. So I hope it also brings a little bit of that nostalgia factor mm -hmm. as well. Last question for both of you, with the whole time travel and everything, if there's one specific song Right now, that you could listen to to travel back in time, what would it be? I got to put you on the spot. Oh man, I don't know. How, um, I would go to. I, I I'd go to Whitney. I want to dance with somebody because it takes me back to being like twelve years old in my best friend's garden, playing that at full volume despite the neighbors, mm. and it's just joy and you. <laughs> and I would go to um, my middle school angsty emo years with the song. Boulevard of Broken Dreams by Green Day. <laughs> <laughs> Lucy, Justin, uh, I want to thank you for giving me a study on Press Day and uh, good luck with the film press. Thank, thank you, you so much. much. Thank you. Have thank a great you. day. Have a great day.